Hi Libra, here's a general look at your solar chart for April 2009 and I think you should be pretty much in your element this month Libra where relationships are concerned, lots of close interaction going on there. Remember yours is the sign of understanding your own identity, your own innate power through the mirror that others hold up to you. So you need to feel engaged, you enjoy that the cut and thrust of relationships. Um, you, you need to feel needed. You need to feel that you are a, a factor in somebody else's life and you like that harmonious flow. Um, you enjoy the cooperation and the collaboration as well in business and you're good at it. And uh, you're good at things like mediation and negotiation as well. And this month, well, it's also a work orientated month, so you'll be able to put those mediation negotiation uh, skills uh, to, uh, to, to work. I mean, you know, if uh, whatever it is that your employment is, whether it's, the, you know, the job, the, the, st the study, the course of study, or you, you know, you're just at home um, and doing, you know, your, your daily chores. Um, there will be plenty, I think, of interaction with others, maybe more correspondence as well. Uh, so you will be, yeah, focused on clearing the decks, see, seeing to various small tasks. It's a little bit maintenance orientated too. It's working productively, I suppose, this month, but relationships are very strongly highlighted. So on a business level as well, you could be getting a lot done uh, with others, for others. And of course, your particular speciality is working one to one or in a small team. Also, this month is a great month for you to be making better lifestyle choices related to your health, getting more exercise maybe, um, seeing to any health problems, your own or somebody uh, around you. Um, yeah, and you know, it is about teamwork this month. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily, when I say that, it doesn't necessarily mean that you both of you should be doing the same thing at the same time, but it's a bit like a, a team of horses or two horses pulling the plow. Uh, yes, you, you know, you're getting the one thing done, but both in your own separate sorts of ways. And it could be um, that you uh, get round the table, you know, from time to time. It's very important to keep the communications going, thrash things out between yourself and somebody that you're sharing uh, with. And now avoid doing anything major on the 5th, I would say, because there's a heavier energy around then. Um, could be health related and um, could be work related as well. You just have to be more persevering then uh, and use your competence and your skills to the greatest effect then, whatever that might be for you on that day and uh, don't don't expect too much you know don't set too high a standard for yourself or for others in fact on that day and uh, you'll be wanting to put your best foot forwards in relationships uh, and you could find that you really click with someone there's a beautiful um, loving intimate close energy in your relationship area uh, for quite a while uh, this year uh, Libra and um, particularly after the ninth, I think your emotions could get stirred up then. I think you might start asking yourself questions, you know, in confidence or maybe, you know, asking a close friend uh, what they think. Um, and uh, you were maybe looking for a meaning behind things there. It could also be that you're thinking more about financial issues than property issues then as well. That's on this more material level and um, trying to sort things out, you know, trying to plan ahead. Um, but I don't think you're going to really get into swing with those sorts of matters until later in the month. And I think verbal exchanges, you know, when you encounter somebody, when you're, you know, messaging uh, or receiving messages, these sort of exchanges will begin to be more heartfelt after the night, that's to say from the 10th of April. 
you may also want to get to the root of something. you feel as though there's something that you may be excluded from or which is behind somebody's behaviour you want to get to the bottom of it ah you want to um go after something which you feel is a little bit elusive something that's being kept from you now on the fifteenth um something unexpected could happen uh, maybe you're working in a different kind of a way maybe there's uh, an innovative um option uh, that you can use a tool or so on or it could be health related so there could be something kind of alternative coming in there complementary coming in there and on the 11th well uh, that could be a fortunate day for you in your you know in a romantic sort of a relationship there um, or with anybody that you uh, can be more playful with um, kind of a fun sort of uh, energy around on that day between the 12th and the 24th well there there's um, a more supportive harmonious influence in the work area it could be a female the in the contribution of a female energy her input is going to help you in your life in a positive kind of a way it's a very kind of supportive energy there but outside of those two dates there, it is just a really great time for you to be getting people on your side, you know, in business, uh, material matters um, as well, you know, um, improving finances. That will come through your skills, your cooperation, your collaboration skills, your interaction with others. That, that seems to be the key there to success. And then when Mars and the Sun move, um, you'll be connecting with others m more, but it'll it'll have a, a sort of a, an edge to it, a kind of intensity to it. Um, um, on one level, that'll be you um, maybe wanting to uh, rewrite an agreement or a contract, and on another level, you'll be considering, you know, moral obligations. You'll be considering your integrity, or maybe somebody else's integrity, and you'll be more focused on, you know, deeper feelings inside of you. There'll be more of an awareness there, um, and uh, it could be that somebody that you have a connection with. Um, for you it's becoming you know more important it's anything but casual and this could start to grow um from this date here and you're going to be aware of what's more from that date from the um time when the sun moons and and uh um mars as well of what's going on on underneath the surface more in touch with your emotions more in touch with your intuitive self and that's from the 20th of April. Well, that's it for the month of April. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.